Technology has grown much in the present and is making a significant impact on all the careers. All those technologies came from developing new software and products that require a lot of coding and programming. Coding and programming are the means that help in the development of software and products. Hey everyone, welcome to yet another exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing how to start coding. However, before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, let's take a look at the agenda for today's discussion. First, we will begin with learning what exactly is coding. Then, we shall discuss how to start coding. After that, we will walk through some platforms to learn coding, followed by that, the trending programming languages. Then, we will discuss some topmost job opportunities and their salaries. And finally, we will wind up the session by learning some benefits of coding. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the first topic of this session. So, what is coding? Coding is a process of passing instructions to communicate with the computer using programming languages. It also helps to pass actions and methods to the computer and instructs what to do and how to do it in a detailed manner. Moving forward, let's understand how to start coding. There are a number of ways to learn coding, like learning from online blogs, online podcasts, communities or group of coders on social media and other platforms, YouTube videos, Stack Overflow, GitHub, self-designed projects and portfolios, online bootcamps, online hackathons and many more. Let's have a look over some top ways to learn coding and we have online bootcamps, YouTube videos, social media, real-time projects, events and coding challenges, development tools, GitHub and Stack Overflow. Now, let's understand each one of them in detail. In these pandemic situations, the possibility to learn coding through institutions or other ways is much more difficult. To overcome these situations, online bootcamps have mainly come into focus. These are helping the students and old professionals to learn coding quite easily without any hassle. There are thousands of online bootcamps available on the internet to learn coding. There are many challenges and projects available on the internet to make it easy for everyone to learn coding. These bootcamps also provide some related certifications on the course and repeat. These online bootcamps also provide some related certifications on the course you have studied which is a huge benefit of learning coding. And the next one in the list is YouTube videos. YouTube has become the best platform to learn coding. There are many videos available on YouTube about coding. They upload videos with different content and provide a different aspect. YouTube provides and has videos with different content and helps to get certified and improve in getting more command over coding. There are many challenges, live classes and webinars in various languages to help and make it easy to learn coding. And the next one in the list is social media. In this modern world, the growth of social media is increasing rapidly because of the advantages it has. This helps everyone from various perspectives. The social media will help learn coding by promoting a number of videos and information about the latest technologies which can show more impact in less time. These also help in uploading the videos and providing the details of the latest courses and technologies. Social media can be easily available in every kind of situation. And the next one in the list is real-time projects. Real-time projects help in learning coding skills and improve the knowledge and concentration towards coding. Projects usually involve a team which can be a huge benefit in learning coding. If any question or problem arises, it can be easy for discussing with the team, which improves the coding knowledge. Another huge benefit in working with real-time projects is improving communication skills, which helps in increasing the concentration over coding. And the next one in the list is events and coding challenges. Thousands of events and coding challenges are available on the internet. These are a huge benefit to learn coding. These provide you with an idea about how the code should be written according to the challenges and helps to get more command over coding. Once you are capable of solving the challenges and events, then it is easy for you to implement code and program. 
These skills can help you improve in your debugging and development speed, which can be a massive advantage in starting to learn coding. And the next one in the list is development tools. Development tools involve various tools with different development, which helps you to work under multiple programming languages. Once you get in touch with all the tools you're working on, you can get a good idea of how to learn and the requirements you should follow to get more attention. These tools are much more helpful in improving your coding skills and get more command over different coding and programming languages. The next one in the list is GitHub. GitHub is a web-based internet provider used for internet hosting, for software development and version control of Git. GitHub facilitates social coding by providing a web interface to the Git code repository and management tools for collaboration. GitHub can be thought of a serious social networking site for software developers. GitHub is so intuitive to use and its version control tools are so helpful for collaboration. Non-programmers have also begun to use GitHub to work on document-based and multimedia projects. The final one in the list is the Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is the largest and most popular and preferred online community to learn coding. Stack Overflow is the largest and most popular and preferred online community to learn coding. It is filled with questions and answers on a wide range of topics in computer programming for professional and enthusiastic programmers. Examples of code and explanation is provided in a proper way that can help in growing your knowledge on coding and help to understand quickly. And these are a few ways to learn coding. And now let's have a look over some of the top platforms to learn coding. So some of the top platforms to learn coding are the first one, Scale Up. Scale Up platform is offered by Simply Learn Solutions Private Limited, which was founded by Mr. Krishna Kumar. It offers free online courses for those who are looking for better content. The main goal through Scale Up is to build strong foundational skills for career growth. SkillUp also offers live webinars with the professionals to help in the growth of technology. Next, we have W3 Schools. W3 Schools is a freemium educational website to learn coding derived from the World Wide Web created in the year 1998. This is one of the top websites for learning coding, mainly for people looking for some content and grip over the subject, which involves beginner to advanced. And the next platform we have is HackerRank. HackerRank is a technical company that focuses on the competitive programming challenges for both consumers and businesses. It helps in hiring for other companies and helps in delivering good content. It includes Java, C++, PHP, Python, SQL, JavaScript and spans multiple computer science domains. And the next platform on the list is LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning is an American website offering video courses by industry experts in software, creativity and business skills. All these courses on LinkedIn fall into three categories, business, creative, and technology. It was founded in the year 1995 by Linda Winman as lynda.com. All the courses on LinkedIn fall into three categories, business, creative, and technology. It was founded in the year 1995 by Linda Winman as lynda.com. There are 15,000 plus courses and learning paths offered by LinkedIn Learning. It is a subsidiary of LinkedIn. These are a few platforms to learn coding for free. Now, let's have a look at some of the new programming languages. The new programming languages are leading in the present situations and they're helping a lot in development and growth of software. Now, let's have a look at some of the topmost languages and trends we have. So we have Python, Java, JavaScript, Go, Swift, and R. Let's have a look at some of them in brief. First, we have Python. Python is the most preferred programming language because of the syntax of Python programming can be easy to understand for every programmer. And this programming language is also loaded with full of libraries that help in implementing scientific computing. Working and deployment in Python are supportive and easy in any kind of environment. Next one in the list is Java. In the modern time, Java is the best language to choose. Nearly thousands of applications, software, and development tools are built using the Java programming language. This technology is mostly used in creating websites such as YouTube, Google, Amazon, and much more. The third one in the list is JavaScript. JavaScript is responsible for fast and secure development. The main advantage and perspective are to provide more interactivity with the users and coders. 
It also helps in expanding innovative technologies which involve animation, gaming, and rendering. And the fourth one in the list is Go. Go language helps in building software in a simple, reliable, and efficient way. This language also helps to add more cache for the processor to improve the performance of the application. Go language is also used for advanced networking and other multi-core processing. And the fifth one in the list is Swift. Swift language is easy to understand and implement because of the syntax which is quite simple. Swift is less error prone because of the inline support. Swift language improves the development speed which has a considerable advantage in reducing the issues related to the cost. The last one in the list is R. R language is very scalable and makes it easy to build aesthetic web applications. This language is mainly developed by using statistics and data science knowledge. R acts as a cross-platform programming language because of the ability to run on any operating system. And these are a few languages that are in the huge demand at present. Now let's have a look at the top jobs and their salaries. There are a thousand jobs available in the world if you have a good command of coding. In this session, we bought some of the top jobs leading from the front with their salaries. The first one is data scientist. Next, we have machine learning expert, Python developer, cloud architect, and big data engineer. Now, let's get a brief about the specialities, skills, and salaries. Let's have a look at the top job for the session, and we have data scientist. A data scientist is a professional who gathers and analyzes large sets of data. Data scientists also process and help in involving complex problems. They should have some skills like Python, R, and Java. Data scientists earn $96,048 per annum in the United States of America, and in India, it is around 42 lakhs 80,000 rupees per annum. That's an average count. Now, next in the number two we have is machine learning experts. A machine learning engineer is responsible for building algorithms to train models. He is also responsible for performing solutions for complex problems. They should have skills like Python, machine learning, and R. Machine learning engineers earn an average salary of $85,736 per annum in the United States of America and around 3 lakhs per annum in India. And these numbers are just for beginners. Next at number 3 we have Python developer. Python developers develop web and software applications and integrate user-facing elements into applications. They also help and instruct the organizations with logical frameworks. They should have skills like Python, web frameworks, and analytics. Python developers earn an average salary of $90,100 per annum in the United States of America and around 3 lakh 90,000 rupees per annum in India. And these salaries are beginners and the number could vary according to your experience and expertise. At number 4, we have Cloud Architect. A cloud architect is an information technology expert who works on cloud application design. They also work with the DevOps engineers and develop to build the right technology. They should have skills like AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. Cloud architects earn around $2,40,000 per annum in the United States of America and anything around 19 lakhs per annum in India. And at fifth role, we have the big data engineer. Big data has been a revolution in every business sector. He is responsible for storing, processing, and analyzing the huge data. They design and develop significant data architecture. They should have skills like Hadoop, Apache Spark, and SQL. Big data engineers earn around $1,7,000 per annum in the United States of America and around rupees in India. So these are some of the top jobs at present. Now let's understand the benefits of learning coding. Coding and programming are playing a massive role in the present day-to-day -day life. They are showing the capability to do anything in the present. Let's see some of the benefits of learning coding. Programming and coding help in improving creativity. While dealing with the applications and projects, they use much creativity to develop those and require a lot of creative knowledge which helps in situations like problem solving. Using these, it is easy to find solutions to complex problems perfectly. Most jobs in the present are dependent on technology. Coding helps to find jobs quite easily and impact career growth. Coding skills also help in improving resilience skills, which can be a huge advantage. And this was all for today's session. I hope now you guys got an idea of how to start coding and what are the ways to learn coding. If you find the information helpful to build and improve your knowledge of coding and programming, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, would you please let us know in the comment section below? 
and our experts will be happy to solve all your queries. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.